Welcome to Classic Game Room. Have you ever played a video game that has better packaging than the game inside? Well, how about Steel Talons? It's got some beautiful full-color artwork with helicopters, explosions, tanks, and guns. And then there's the game for the Atari Lynx. It's Steel Talons from 1992. You know, I like the packaging for this game so much I reviewed the box separately. It's eye-catching and looks really cool. Steel Talons was originally an Atari-produced arcade game, and this is the portable version for the Atari Lynx. With some voice dialogue, this one's a milk run, kids. I wish there was some frothy, delicious milk at the end. But no, you're only rewarded with pain. Steel Talons may have been pretty cool back in 1992 because it's like a real flight simulator. You actually fly around a pseudo 3D environment, which separates this from other helicopter games like Sega's Thunderblade, for example. But let's be honest, which would you rather play? Now, I know this one is hard to see. It's actually hard to see compared to all of the other Atari Lynx games that we have at the classic Game Room Intergalactic Space Arcade. And plays like the developers were pushing this thing past its limits, the Lynx struggles to play Steel Talons. It's extremely sluggish and clunky. But at the same time, it's impressive because it's a free roam helicopter shoot 'em up on an early 90s color handheld. If you had this game back in the day, it would have been quite a showpiece. For what it's worth, this captures the feeling of flying around mountains in an open world, an experience that you didn't see back in the early 90s except on a few big PC games. And here it is on the Atari Lynx handheld. That's pretty cool. Ambitious? Yes. Fun and playable in 2012? No. I've never seen the arcade machine, but I can only hope that it ran smoother than this one. Don't waste time on this one. Yes, sir! Using a combination of the buttons on the Lynx, you can raise your helicopter up or down and fly forwards. And, and I'm not sure if you can go backwards, actually. I didn't try that. That would be a total airwolf, though. Do a loop and then throw it in reverse, drop down through a volcano upside down and waste enemies with your sheer awesomeness. Not quite. But you do get to blow up enemies with your machine guns and rockets. You can pull up a little map, it'll tell you where you need to go, and even tell you what your auto-targeting system is locked onto. I mean, let's, let's be honest here, in 1992 or 93, this would have been really cool on a handheld, and you could have spent hours playing it. That's right, let's see the Game Boy do that! Stay low to follow the river, and don't cut those corners too tight! Steel Talons! A big thank you and shout out to our friend Mohammed in Qatar who sent this game along with the Lynx. While I wouldn't consider this one terribly playable, it's another impressive Lynx title, technically. I mean, look at this, you're navigating a canyon. What does this game think it is, Tom Clancy's Hawks 2? This game was dating your mom before Tom Clancy even learned to read. Assuming you believe the conspiracy theories that Dr. Seuss actually wrote The Hunt for Red October. <laughs> 